Hey y'all, Merry Christmas. Hope all y'all's having a, a great day, getting to enjoy with some family. I've got to turn some heifers out. I'm gonna tell on myself in this video. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna make, make me look good. So hold on one second and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey! While I was feeding another group of heifers, this heifer got out of the pen, but watch her when I try to put her in. Oh, hey, 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 come on. Hey! All right, as you see, that heifer's trying to put in and the one turned out, they just, uh, you kind of holler at them and they'll just go. They uh, kind of spook and, and go. Most people know this, and if you don't know this, animals have either fight or flight. If you notice the, the heifer that I just pushed in, she took flight. She was trying to get away from me. She didn't want to be with me. I'm fixing to load up a bull here a little bit later that uh, he may not take flight. He may want to fight. So we'll deal with that when I get over there. But anyways, the point I wanted to make is the animals have, have fight or flight mode, and so do humans. We all got, uh, most of us have that fight or flight. A lot of people, it's just, uh, they don't want to deal with problems, they just get away from it. Um, I, I'm somewhat that way, but I'm, I'm bad about, I, I, I'd rather just fight. Um, but I want to share a verse with y'all, and I'm going to tell myself. The verse is um, James 1 verse 19 and 20 it says my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that god desires it says we should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry i made a post on facebook i don't know it's probably been a week two weeks ago and uh, i was running this county road all night made probably 20 trips down of it down through it rougher and crap man i was so aggravated i made a post on facebook talking about where uh, our commissioner passed away and uh so um they got somebody filling in there and i made a post that uh something about i'll be glad when they get a new commissioner to babysit them and make sure they do their work i was so aggravated driving that road all night long i drive every single day and all these other county roads are being rough all i'm seeing is the surface here i don't know what's going in the background I, i'm just what, what I'm doing is just getting quick to anger. I'm not being being slow to anger. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know. I mean, they, they may not have the money to fix the road. I don't have a clue. What the right thing would for me to do would have been probably just call the bar and say, hey, what's going on? Can we get this road bladed or do something with these roads? We're down them all night, turn the trucks up and everything. But no, I was quick to anger. I was quick to speak. I was just so aggravated that night. And I've had messages from guys because it, it ticked them off, which I, I understand. And uh, they're, they're kind of the same way, quick to anger. I'm going to jump on you. I had the, the blade hand the other day uh, start cussing at me. And, you know, I was having a bad day yesterday, and if he would have got out of his car and there wasn't cameras around, I'd probably put a knot on his head. Was that the Christian thing to do? No. No, you know, I wouldn't ever had that problem if I didn't make that post. But I made that post because I was quick to anger. We don't know what each other's going through. He don't know what I'm going through. That blade hand last night that came and talked to me, he didn't know what I was dealing with. I was already having a bad day. He didn't know that. And he, he was already ticked off when he seen me. He was quick to anger. And you know, I, I may kind of run um, some of my testimony and my, my witness to him, and I, I, I hope it'll uh, I can recover it one day with these guys. Because you know, deep down, they're, they're great guys. I mean... What, what we need to realize is the, the guys that get mad because I posted that, and I understand why I got mad. Should they have done what they didn't know? Should I have done what I didn't know? But you know what? I got to remember that Jesus died for them. Today's Jesus' birthday. God sent his son to die on the cross for both them men or whoever all I offended. And he died for me. 
You know why he died for me? Because he knew I was going to screw up like this. He knew I was going to be quick to anger and quick to speak. That's my fight or flight mode is always on the fight mode. And I'm getting out. A lot of people can't see it, but I'm actually getting better than what I was just because of Jesus in me. So to whoever I offended, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I spoke way too quick out of anger. I did it the, the wrong way. I really did. You know, today when you're getting around with family and everything, I don't know how y'all's family is to mine, but that gum, over the years I've seen some fights in my family, verbal fights, because we're, we're, we're quick to speak. We want to jump on everybody. So today as you're gathering with your family, just realize you don't know what they're going through. All you're seeing is a surface. You don't know what they're dealing with. They may be dealing with the loss, loved one. They may be fighting with their spouse or their kids or something we don't even know about god may be dealing with them. they may not be christians but god's dealing with them and they're in that fight mode that's how i was when god was dealing with me before i said you know lord i'm sorry and i asked him in my heart i was still in the flight mode then so you don't know what people's dealing with so like the bible says slow to anger slow to speak quick to listen we need to start listening to people more. If we start listening to people more, I think we'll understand them a little bit better where they're coming through and everything they're dealing with. You know, them guys that know that I'm going off hardly any sleep, working all the time, stressed out about getting these heifers and a bull moved and all this, and dealing with my mom, and the only day I get off is Christmas. They don't need nothing. They didn't know that. And was it wrong for me posting that? You know, it was. And I apologize for that. But if we start living by the Bible... The world would be a better place. And you know what? God convicted me. You know why I knew that verse? Because I've studied that verse before. You know, if I never got in the Word and, and read the Word, like God calls us Christians to do, I, I'd have never thought, you know, God did say something about that. But I read it. So get in your Bible and read. I hope everybody's have a great has a great Christmas. And I'll quit rattling on and let y'all enjoy it. I got to feed some stuff and get some more cows moved. God bless.